What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be covering something I'm surprised I haven't covered already, and that's how to fix random crashes in Call of Duty Warzone 2 or Warzone 2 DMZ. There's many reasons that these crashes could be happening, and this guide will cover the most common. If you're getting a specific crash relating to your hardware, this won't help you. And of course, as time goes on, issues will come and issues will go. Leave a comment down below if these didn't work for you, with your specific issue and error message if you're getting one, and maybe someone will be able to help you out. First of all, Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 require you to have the latest graphics drivers installed. For most people, this isn't an issue. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and update your graphics drivers, and while you're at it, update your windows as well. If this fixes your crashes, great. If it doesn't, we'll come back to this later in the video where we can try an alternative driver. For now, let's go ahead and make sure all the files on our PC are nice and happy. To do this in Steam, simply navigate across to Warzone 2, right-click Properties, and inside of here, Local Files, then we'll be clicking Verify Integrity of Game Files. For Battle.net, you'll be locating Warzone 2, updating it if there's an update, then click Options, and then click Scan and Repair. Both of these methods run through all of the files on your PC relating to the game, and if they don't match the server, they'll be patched up and fixed. But what else could be causing crashes? Well, there could be inconsistencies with your display and or its resolution. If you're able to fire up into the game normally, this probably isn't affecting you. However, if you're playing in full screen mode and your resolution doesn't match your resolution in Windows, it could be causing odd scaling issues, causing the game to crash. You can right click your desktop and choose display settings, then select the monitor you play the game on, scroll down, and where you see display resolution, simply select the recommended resolution for your monitor, or at least what came on the box. When you do so, launch up the game and head across to the video options menu where we'll be matching those settings in game. Just make sure you're playing in full screen mode and your resolution in game matches your resolution on your desktop. You can always lower your settings or use something like DLSS to get back extra performance you may have lost if you've just raised your resolution. Obviously, if you haven't ready, try a clean restart of your PC, shut it down, start it up and close any programs that open, especially programs that draw over the game like Discord with their Discord overlay and any performance monitoring tools as well. If the game works properly, well then it's one of those programs causing an issue. You can fire them up one by one to find out what causes it. And if for some reason there's any issues on your PC relating to permissions, you can always run the game in administrator mode. You'll be navigating across to where the game files are located. On Steam, you can right click the game, hover over manage, and then click browse local files. We'll simply sort by type and application. We're looking for cod.exe. Right click, then choose properties, and on the compatibility tab, make sure it disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator are both ticked, apply OK, and fire up the game through Steam. Don't use the EXE here, otherwise it won't work properly. Now let's assume that none of these fixes have worked for you. There's a few other fixes that we can go through and try. If you've overclocked anything in your PC, try and simply disable those manual overclocks and see if things are happier. And something you may not even have thought about is XMP for your RAM or DOCP on AMD. Your RAM runs at 4000 or 3000 megahertz, but without XMPE or DOCP enabled, it'll run at 2133. You'll be losing some performance with it disabled. However, it is a form of overclocking and can make your RAM more unstable, especially if it's on the cheaper side and it advertises high performance. It sounds crazy, but just fire into your BIOS and disable XMP or DOCP, re-log into Windows and see if the game works properly. If it doesn't work properly, make sure you go back there and re-enable it when you're done. If you haven't got this enabled, well, you're leaving free performance on the table, fire into your BIOS, and make sure you do have it enabled, as if it's not causing any issues, it can give you a free performance boost in quite literally everything. Now, finally, change your graphics driver from a game-ready driver to a studio or professional driver version. Essentially, it's a few versions back and is far more stable than the game-ready cutting-edge version. If you try and downgrade your graphics driver, Call of Duty and programs like that will complain and tell you to update. If you use a studio driver, however, it doesn't complain and you can play the game as is on a slightly older version with just as much performance, but far more stability. In the description down below, you'll find NVIDIA and AMD download links. For NVIDIA, you'll be heading across to the site here and punching in your graphics card. Starting with the series, the product, then select Windows 10 or 11 or whatever you're on. Then from the drop down here, instead of choosing game ready driver, choose studio driver, then search, download, and install it when it's done downloading. 
If you're using something like the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you probably are able to change it there as well. The same goes for AMD or Intel's equivalent. On the AMD website, select Graphics, then choose the series that your card is in. For example, RX 6000, maybe a 6700, 6700, and then I'll click Submit. From here, you're able to choose a Windows version. If you're on Windows 11 and you only see Windows 10, don't worry, select Windows 10, just make sure it's 64-bit. Then whenever you expanded it, you'll see Adrenaline Edition, which is essentially their gaming version, cutting edge, 22.11, and the Pro Edition, which is the Studio Edition. 22.Q4, it's a bit more outdated, however, it should be a lot more stable. Finally, of course, the last place to resort to is the forums and for Steam users, the best place to do this is in Steam. Then, under the game, we'll be heading across to Discussions, and inside of him, here's where you can come and shout into the Aether, hoping somebody hears you. Oftentimes, devs do hear you, as they do have a tracking board for known issues. You can go there by clicking Trello Board, continue to External Site, and you're able to look at all of the current issues affecting the game, how severe they are, and probably their progress working on them too. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully it helps you. Thank you all for watching. My name is Wayne Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.